hey what's good I'm Sadia and in a previous video I showed you how you can capture your gameplay with a capture card. In this video however I'm going to show you how you can do it without a capture card so let's go. All you'll need really is your phone to record the footage and then what might be useful is if you have a tripod or maybe something like this gorilla pod over here but if you don't have either of those don't worry because you can use household items to help and I'll show you how. So what you want to do is make sure that your phone camera can see the entire screen for you to capture. Try and make it as straight as possible, but don't worry about making it 100% perfect because we'll be editing it anyway. It will just make it easier to edit if it's straight to begin with. Now, if you don't have a tripod, then just use whatever you can find in the house to give you the relevant height. Just make sure that it's flat. So you could use a table or a chair with books or boxes stacked up, for example, kind of like what I've done here. To hold your phone, use something like a water bottle, not an empty one obviously, to balance your phone on and voila! Don't worry about capturing any of the background because we can cut that out. Just make sure that you can see the entire screen and that is as straight as possible. I ended up having to use a lot more props because my TV is on the stand which is much taller than the coffee table that I used. But yeah, like I said, just use whatever things you can find at home. Once you're set up, start recording, get playing and enjoy! Now for the main part, what you need to do now is copy the footage to your Mac or your PC. Then create a new project in whatever editing software you wish to use. I'm using Final Cut Pro but the process will be similar with other editing software. Now import or drag in your gameplay footage. I'm just going to turn down the volume due to copyright on the music. Alternatively, you could just right click and detach the audio and just get rid of it completely. Cool, so now we want to crop it, so let's go to the transform tool and select crop and basically you just need to crop it so that only the part that you want in your video is shown. So I'm cropping everything except the TV screen because that's all I want. If your footage isn't perfectly straight, just use the transform tool to tweak the rotation. So now that it's cropped, you can see that it's not covering 100% of the video area. Show the inspector sidebar if it's hidden and then just adjust the scale until it covers the video area completely. Mm. As you can see, in this little corner it's not quite perfect so I'm going to crop it some more. Okay, now let's play it back and yep, that looks way better. Perfect. So you can share your video like this or you can make it a little bit more funky. I'll show you an example. So I'm going to find a photo of the Nintendo Switch. It needs to have a transparent background for this to work. Let's download it and then drag it to the software. It's kind of small, so let's scale it up. Ideally, it would be a high resolution image, but this is just a demo for you guys. You can do this with any image, by the way. It doesn't have to be a Switch. It could be a laptop or a TV screen even. So the gameplay footage is behind the Switch image. So let's bring the gameplay footage to the top layer. Just click and drag it up or click and drag the switch image down. Both do the exact same thing. Now the gameplay footage is hiding the switch so I'm just going to scale it down to make it smaller so that it basically fits into the switch screen. Cool, so let's play it back. And yep, that's perfect, exactly what I was going for. Cool, so now you'll notice that the background has become black. If you want, you could leave it like so. Doesn't look too bad to be honest or you could add a different solid color background image or alternatively you can just add another photo to use as a background so let's do that. Let's do a quick google search. Yeah this image will do. Save it, drag it and finally move it so it's behind the other layers. And there you have it, job done. I hope you found this video useful, if you did don't forget to hit that like button Drop a comment below and subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thank you for watching. Peace.